Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video of my Christmas series. So after having talked about uh, Christmas decorations and Christmas uh, um, gifts, this time I will talk about how to wrap the gift you made last time. So uh, for me, uh, wrapping gifts uh, is a particular tricky part of Christmas. And that's because uh, on one side, of course, it's great to receive a very nicely wrapped gift. But on the other side, it's a lot of time, money and waste created for something that will last maybe five seconds um, to tear it apart, three, even less if you have a kid. So it doesn't really seem very efficient sustainability wise, um, especially considering that uh, uh, the majority of wrapping paper is actually not recyclable because it's plastified. And, uh, so it's really like really a lot of waste you create every time you wrap a gift so it can be problematic but at the same time i do i am convinced that there are still ways to make a very lovely uh, a lovely wrapped gift um, without uh, uh, making that much waste so if you're curious to know what are alternative ways and more sustainable ways to wrap your gift let's get started So um, the first idea is actually uh, to use alternative uh, way of wrapping gifts. So, and with this, I mean uh, uh, using uh, objects that can actually be reused many, many times. The examples are boxes, um, but probably the most obvious one is bags. If you put your gift in a very nice bag, then the person uh, can reuse that bag many times. So basically is doing two gifts in one. And a uh, very uh, easy example is a canvas bag, something uh, like this. Um, it is very, very nice because at the end, um, these are things that normally don't cost that much, so it won't add uh, the price of your gift. Um, you can find very, very nice and colorful ones, so uh, you can still uh, have something that resembles a more traditional gift. And normally for the person is lovely to receive something like this because it's something that's maybe um, they would love and use a lot um, but they wouldn't necessarily spend their own money on so it's a little bit of a win-win another example and that's for me especially if you have kids is something uh, like this uh, this is a basic bag that you can find uh, uh, in the Disney store so I think uh, half of people uh, making gifts uh, at Disney Store, at least for kids, uh, at least half of the people I know. So um, this is the option, uh, one of the options I give for um, wrapping presents. And I do find it the most really sustainability effective. Uh, and that's because even if it's plastic, so at the end of the day, it won't be entirely um, recyclable. But at least uh, it's something that you can use many times before arriving at the point of trashing it uh, compared to a normal wrapping paper. So it's still more effective. And I have to say, this is something I have received from a friend who uh, put a gift inside of it exactly for this reason. And I have to say, if you need to bring your lunch back and forth, this is perfect. Because being plastic is easily wiped uh, uh, clean. And um, at the same time, it's quite structured, so you can uh, put your boxes in a way that they stay flat. And that's particularly important if you have water, soap, or very saucy food, anything that could spill. And surely it's easier to put something uh, like this in a bag uh, um, that it's easily wipeable than uh, uh, in a canvas bag. Like I have a couple of canvas bags that are totally ruined because something spilled in them. So. I think that uh, uh, that could actually be uh, a better option, at least if you have kids, then it's much better. So uh, that's the first option. Uh, but I can understand that uh, uh, maybe you don't want uh, uh, to do something like this, but you prefer uh, to make a more traditional gift, a more colorful, more, yeah, a normal gift, let's put it this way. So um, you can go for a more sustainable gift which is uh sorry wrapping which in in this case means that is done in recyclable material as i said um paper um normal wrapping paper is normally not recyclable uh if you still want the normal like a uh, super colorful ones you can uh, try to find some that are not classified that would be a good option um otherwise uh you can uh either use newspaper or brown paper 
Now, uh, in newspaper, um, it's probably a great way to recycle in the sense that uh, if you have a newspaper lying around, this is a very good way to uh, reuse those newspaper without just trashing them. Um, if you don't have them lying around, uh, you can always go uh, to uh, an, a simple bar and ask them if they can uh, uh, give you the newspaper of the day. And that's a very good idea um, to recycle those newspaper also. Uh, however, I do understand that the newspaper itself is not that fancy and maybe it's not the best option if you need to give, to do a gift to a more, uh, I don't know, a more important person or maybe to someone who has kids and kids don't really appreciate newspaper, let's be honest about it. So uh, a good idea could be try to make uh, your newspaper a little bit nicer. So uh, this uh is an example i made so now i do realize that this is not as nice as i wanted it to be so it's not a perfect example but uh, if you're better than me and the art and craft probably you will get a better result so uh the whole point of this is that i created a uh, envelope uh, um, with a newspaper and uh, i closed it with a nice pin and i chose uh, this pin because uh, it is lovely basically because of that but also because compared to a uh, um, other way of like closing uh, um, your presents uh, this one is reusable and the part i prefer is that there is a magnet behind it so you can actually put it on your fridge and attach pictures or notes or anything like this on that but otherwise you can just uh, uh, use it to close your envelopes or um, you know when you put uh, food uh, into small bags you can close the bags with it so that's a very nice way and uh, um, for the label again uh, well I don't know if you really need the labels I mean if you do uh, give the gifts uh, like directly then probably you don't need the uh, need label but at least in my family we used to put all the presents uh, um, under the uh, under the tree and then uh, everyone pick uh, um, a present with uh, with its name so putting a label is actually necessary but I'm not really a fan of labels because uh, um, they are plastic at the end um, so yeah, they're not really the most sustainable thing so um, I picked this one that is a uh, uh, first of all it's made of cork so it's recyclable so even if the person won't reuse it at least uh, they can uh, compost it but uh, uh, beside that uh, it is actually a thing with an actual function uh, this is something that you should uh, put on the neck of, uh, of a bottle so that when you pour uh, wine or juice or anything that could stain your tablecloth um, this uh, uh, would avoid uh, uh, the drips to go directly on the table because this will stop them so I think it's quite um, it's quite useful uh, also at least in my family quite useful for Christmas because there is always at least one person who tries to drop um, the bottle on uh, on the tablecloth so that's a tablecloth saver and I'm quite sure that my mom will really much appreciate very much appreciated so um, if you still uh, don't want to use uh, a, a newspaper because yes I can understand as I was saying it's not that fancy um, I think that then uh, the best option would be uh, brown paper and yes I know that brown paper uh, could uh, look only a tiny bit more fancy uh, than the newspaper because at the end it's a really like plain and boring um, paper but for me it's actually fantastic because uh, it is basically a white canvas you can do everything you want on it um, exactly because it's so plain so uh, you can uh, uh, you can really personalize your present so uh, for example once I did uh, uh, like I wrapped my present in uh, um, brown paper and then I wrote an entire quiz on the on the news uh, on the paper uh, and the person needs uh, uh, to answer to the various questions before uh, opening the gift so at the end uh, uh, it was a very very funny moment and the quiz was done um, in a way that uh, it would uh, give hints on what was inside the packaging um, or another thing that it did and that was uh, uh, with my best friend same thing like I just wrapped uh, the gift in a normal paper and then I wrote the quiz but this time they were all questions related to our uh, favorite uh, um, TV series we had the TV series in common and they were like a sort of um, uh, like a series of phrases 
um, from the TV series and she needed to uh, complete the pages and to fill like the uh, blank spaces and again it became very very funny for everyone um, even if it uh, made it a little bit longer but it can create a sort of ritual between you and the person and makes everything funnier and nicer and at the end of the day it's uh, much much more personal than just a plain uh, um, wrapping paper that you can find uh, in a normal store Another way, if you're a very creative person, it could be uh, like paint uh, directly on the um, on the paper, and that's also nice and also a way to personalize it. If you're making a gift to someone that is maybe a little bit more formal, or uh, if you're like me, I'm not a painter. Uh, another nice way is doing something like this edit here. I'm particularly proud of these gifts i know that for some of you can be quite, like quite boring and basic but for me who as i was saying and not very creative this is like a huge huge effort and a huge huge result especially if you compare it to like this Puma. so this is actually something i'm very proud of and uh, uh, again it's easy as uh, easy to make and um, for me, another advantage of the brown paper is that uh, um, when uh, you decorate it properly, it can also be very, very elegant. So in this case, um, I just uh, uh, used some uh, scrap threads uh, that I had uh, around um, and uh, a, a pink um, white and red because of course they are much more Christmassy colors, so it's perfect for the season. Um, and I uh, join them together so they uh, create like a single thread even if they are actually two and then uh, I uh, used I uh, create a nice ribbon out of them and to uh, make the center of the ribbon I uh, again uh, used orange skin um, I'm a fan of orange skin if you watched my videos on Christmas decoration you know that I use it for almost everything and this is also quite easy the only thing you need to do is eat an orange uh, actually with mandarin work better but uh, both ways work anyway both fruits work so uh, you just need to try uh, to peel off a large enough section uh, of the skin that you can uh, cut a shape out of it and i used like a simple um, cookie stamp to uh, stamp the uh, the star and then I make it dry and that's it. The only thing you should be maybe careful is to um, make it dry uh, between like pages or uh, under a box or anyway something that uh, uh, keeps the skin uh, flat otherwise um, it will all wrinkle and it's not um, it's not very nice so that's the only uh, thing you need to be careful and uh, so I put it here and I think that the result is already very nice and then as I was saying uh, I created again my own label this time I literally did it myself and so I used like a, a normal um, cardboard that I had around to create uh, um, the uh, basic shape and then uh, I used the uh, newspaper again um, to uh, cover uh, the cardboard and then I uh, painted directly over um, the newspaper and I think the result is really really nice and it's probably a little bit more original than just a simple label put there and I have to say I'm very happy with the result uh, it's very clean it's very simple and it's very elegant but at the same time it's something that I did myself and it's very personal so yeah again at the end of the day for me um making something personal personal it's what makes a gift really valuable so uh, i'm not a person that needs to receive like the moon to be happy uh something very small that has really um that has a thought behind it that is really like thinking of me it's what makes me happy and that goes the same with wrapping paper i'm very happy with like a more um maybe not as nice um wrapping paper because maybe the person is as me not super creative maybe it's not as fancy and as nice and as shiny as a wrapping paper that is coming uh, directly out from the shop but it is done in a way that uh, um it makes the person think of me and that's for me makes uh, the gift even more valuable and at the end of the day you're also doing uh, something nice for the environment so it's great and then at the end you can also have fun this is actually funny that's what 
for me that's what is the best part it is funny you can do it while you're watching like your tv series or something like this so it's also a way to make those moments not just like a brainwashing and tired and just sit on uh, in front of the tv and just watch whatever it pass on but you can still watch your tv and doing this uh, while watching it it's uh, it makes those moments a little bit more creative and that's i think it's the best part at the end it's a win-win for everyone so yeah i have to say i've been very happy of doing this gift and i've been very happy when i received this type of uh, of gifts and wrapping so yeah that's what uh, what's good for me and that's it for today uh please let me know if you have uh, other ideas for more sustainable wrapping or any other like creative but simple ideas i'm very curious to know of them uh so and possibly to make them so that would be very nice if you put them down here or text me or whatever it would be very cool and that's it if you enjoyed this video please consider giving a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to my channel 